Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech. Recently, an AOSP ROM has been made available for the Xiaomi Mi 3 and the Mi 4. What's special about this ROM is that it's been compiled using Xiaomi's official kernel sources, so it is more or less bug-free at the moment. So anyway, uh, though I'll be using a Mi 3 in this video, the procedure is exactly the same for the Mi 4 as well. So the first thing you need to do is head on over to the download section in the description. There are three links there. Link 1 will take you to this page. From here you can download Clockwork Mod. Link 2 will take you to this page from where we download the AOSP ROM. Link 3 will take you to this page. Download the GApps file. Make sure you download the micro modular. I've already done that. So next up, quickly back up everything on your phone because we will be uh, we will have to wipe all data. You will be losing your apps and data. So once you've done that, head on over to the updater app, hit the menu key. This would work from both MIUI v5 and v6, so don't worry about it. Hit select update package, scroll down, select the recovery file, and hit update. Now once this is done, hit reboot later, go back, hit the menu key, and hit reboot to recovery. So guys, as you can see, we are now in Clockwork Mod Recovery. We've got the volume keys acting for navigation and the power key for selection. So here, select System 2. Now if, uh, go to Install Zip. Choose Zip from SD card, 0 slash. And now select the AOSP ROM that we downloaded from Link 2. So just give it a few minutes to complete. Alright guys, once that's done, I've again select, you can use the on-screen keys uh, or the power button and volume keys. That's up to you. So select choose zip from SD card again and zero. And now go ahead, select the PA G apps file that we downloaded from link three. So guys, once it's done, go back, wipe data factory reset. And once that's done, Wipe cache partition. Next up, go into advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache. And now hit a re, uh, I'm sorry, go back and hit reboot system now. Now your Xiaomi Mi 3 will boot back up and remember the first boot is always longer than your regular boot time. So give it a few minutes don't panic if it doesn't reboot instantly just give it a few minutes and your me 3 will boot up so guys once you're up you'll only see things in chinese don't worry about it that is to be expected so just uh, keep skipping stuff select the google nav launcher and now go into settings about device and tap the build number okay okay all right now once developer options is unlocked you can go select this and go in and select the accented english here so now we've got english and we've got aosp and we've got The stock Android experience here. So this is a launcher without Google Now and this is the Google Now launcher. So you can turn on Google Now here. So this seems to be pretty stable. Those are that's the reports that I've that's what the reports say. I've read a few. Let me know how it goes. Let me know uh, how it performs. Let me know in the comments below. So I guess that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.